Okay. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tele Youth Wednesday morning educational webinar. Today we have Dr. Chris and Dr. Tina on the line. They have a combined 60 years of experience as naturopathic practitioners. They are internationally renowned educators and speakers. And most importantly, they are the formulators of our incredible products, Saran Youth Serum and Tele Youth. Good morning, Dr. Chris, Dr. Tina. Good morning, MJ. Good morning, everyone out there. So nice to be with you all today. Yes, good morning. Thanks, MJ. Good morning, Dr. Chris. Are you ready to talk about the liver this morning? Let's go for it. It's so important. Um, there's, uh, there used to be the term, you know, fatty liver disease, and it used to be so common that we all think that everybody was drinking alcohol in excess, and it would cause cirrhosis of the liver and, and fatty liver disease. However, today, there's a term N-A-F-L, and that's non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So people were showing up in their doctor's office and the doctor would say, my goodness, you have a fatty liver. And the person would say, but I don't drink alcohol. This has become so common. So what is a fatty liver? Now this is when the liver doesn't process and break down fats as it normally should. And then too much fat deposits or and it accumulates in the liver. So when we have non-alcoholic fatty uh, liver, excuse me, um, uh, yeah, non-alcoholic is alcoholic fatty liver. It's when we end up with inflammation and liver cell damage. So that excess fat in the liver just creates this inflammation. The inflammation creates excess fat, and you know we start to break down in the liver. And we can, it can cause um, fibrosis, scarring, a lot of things happen to the liver. And, and, you know, we can't really talk about the liver unless we also bring up the gallbladder and, and bile. Those are also very important when you talk about complementing uh, breaking down of fats. We have to have a healthy gallbladder and bile production as well. So people have, have asked us, you know, how, how did I get a fatty liver? Well, first of all, most of it is through diet and, and excess calories, and it causes fat to build up in the liver. So um, you can also end up with fatty liver if you have other conditions, like you know, if you if you're definitely have obesity issues or diabetes or high triglycerides, you know, high sugars throughout the bloodstream over long uh, term over a long term. So, um, Dr. Chris, do you want to add anything before we move into the next area? Oh, sounds good. Let's get into some of the symptoms that uh, people experience. So how do you know if you have a fatty liver? Um, when you have headaches, abdominal sweating and this or swelling, and this tends to be like on your right side, just around your rib cage, uh, swelling will start there and it'll start to proliferate uh, all throughout the belly. So, and it can be very tender there on that right side, just underneath your rib cage fatigue and weakness. If you just, just feel weak and you have no energy, your liver it could be uh, experiencing that excess fat. Excessive thirst, uh, yellow skin, jaundice, you know, any other skin discolorations uh, also lead, uh, are also are, are, are a symptom. Uh, yellow sclera, and this is when your eyes, the white of your eyes turns yellow. Issues with your stools, whether it's constipation or runny stools, um, emotions. This is one where um, people will say, do you remember hearing about that angry drunk? Um, this is when we're talking about, you know, a fatty liver that's, you know, caused by alcohol and somebody's emotionally, their, their triggers are so quick. Uh, their wick is really short and they can go to anger very, very fast. So you can see that there's a lot of anger, there could be sadness, and there could be depression that is wrapped around an unhealthy liver. Strange dreams, you can have some very bizarre strange dreams because everything processes through the liver, all your feelings, everything just kind of moves through the liver. So it gets to give you that feedback mechanism if you have strange dreams at night and also weight gain. 
uh, on unexplained weight gain. Yes, the the organ is you know plays such a role in metabolism, and uh, so uh, you, as it breaks down, everything else will break down with it. It's the largest internal organ in this in the body, and. Um, but just so you mentioned earlier that you start to feel, you know, a little dull sensation under the rib cage there. There's no nerves in the liver because uh, specifically it does so much that uh, if you start feeling things on that side of your body in that upper quadrant of your abdomen, just underneath your rib cage, then uh, you want to be sure to check it out. Exactly. Because, the, because now you're feeling something and it's gone beyond, you know, your normal senses. Um, and has gone over to what we look at as the right on side of this chart. So when you look at the pictures here on the left, we have a building. When we're young, we have youth and vitality and our structure doesn't need a lot of maintenance. It's self-maintained. And when you move over to the right, this is when we move into the aging and dysfunction and we have these systems and the structure and the function starts to break down. And in the middle here, you can see there's a picture of our liver. And this is actually a cross section of a liver that, that's a, a healthy liver. It's not a fatty liver. But we just wanted to give you that visual of being able to look at what does it look like to see a healthy liver. Now in Chinese medicine, the liver is, is the general. It is so important. And you can even work with color and visualize the color green around your liver. And, you know, that's about having that balance with the green color around the liver and really helping to work on the energetic level. Not only are we working on the, you know, physical level, but the energetic level, you can work on your liver as well. And it's interesting because people ask, well, how do you fix it? How, you know, if I'm in this, in this, on this far right side where I'm starting to feel things like some of these symptoms or experience some of these major imbalances, uh, maybe I could have a problem with my liver. Well, one of the things that you can do is you can really, you know, focus on losing weight, choose a healthy diet. Um, if you have diabetes, you definitely want to watch your blood sugars, exercising, lowering your cholesterol you know, and, and really that helps to protect your liver. And then, you know, there's some other foods we'll talk about a little bit later that you could just incorporate into your diet that are going to uh, really support your liver and your liver balance. So now we're going to show Curtis and Curtis, his testimonial is incredible. He went to the doctor and they told him that he had uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So we're gonna go ahead and play this and then we're gonna explain how Telo-Youth helped rejuvenate or regenerate his liver. So, <laughs> um, actually had an interesting experience. For about three or four years, uh, when I had a physical, my doctor told me that I have a fatty liver and I have cirrhosis in the liver. And they were like, do you drink? And I'm like, no, I don't drink at all. But for some reason, I had a fat in my liver and my liver had some scarring. So normally, if you have cirrhosis, which is the scarring in the liver, it doesn't go away. It's like it's gonna be there for the rest of your life. So I had an interesting thing happen. And in May, I was in the hospital with pneumonia. I think we were taking eight capsules a day or something like that. So I was in the hospital, they did a, a CT scan you know, of my lungs and they got a picture of the top of my liver. And I actually have the results here they said that the liver is somewhat small with scarring on the left side, suggesting cirrhosis. So there's other things, you know, I don't want to, like several pages of stuff. So my doctor was worried when I got out of the hospital, she said, you need to go back for another CT to have a look at the liver, my kidneys, because I also have a kidney problem. So when I went back, this is three weeks later, 
Um, actually, after I got out of the hospital, we were back here mm -hmm. for another Saturday, and he says, you know, if you want to really start looking younger, then you need to take 16 a day or something. So we increased. We're taking 15 a day mm -hmm. for about, uh, and three weeks later, after taking 15 a day, I went back for another CT scan. And uh, they said, here in the CT scan, they said, the doctor said, we're actually looking for the liver cirrhosis. We want to see if you have scarring in your liver. And here it says liver, gallbladder, pancreas, and screen are unremarkable. That means nothing. No fatty liver, no cirrhosis. And I'm like, no. Because <laughs> the, see, if you have cirrhosis, it doesn't go away. But after three weeks of taking 15 a day, something happened. So I'm hoping that the uh, kidney issues and all the other stuff that I have, because I have a genetic, this, this year, mm -hmm. I'm not pregnant. I have <laughs> big kidneys. So, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I'm hoping that it can help the kidneys, mm -hmm. you know, my kidneys, because, you know, uh, my liver, my kidney function was down to 40% mm -hmm. uh, a year ago, and it had dropped 20% in three years. So I'm wow. like, that means probably in another three years to five years, I'll be on dialysis, and that's not mm -hmm. going to be fun. Mm -hmm. But my kidney function is back up to 60%. Mm -hmm. So, so far, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that things are going to work out, and I'm hoping that it will help with the genetic kidney issue. But uh, the so other stuff, yeah. uh, the first thing I notice when I take it is really amazing sleep. If you have sleep deprivation or something like that, don't buy melatonin or take pills or anything. Take tell them before you go to bed because man, it knocked me out and I was like sleeping deep and everything. And I also have a sleep apnea, so I have a machine that helps oh, okay. me sleep. But even with the machine, I don't get a good sleep. But with tell them, it was a really amazing deep sleep, amazing dreams and Technicolor. It's like. So it was really, really good. So I'm hoping uh, that, you know, looking forward to more things. And he yeah. also mentioned we were gone for three or four weeks. We came back and he says, wow, you look so great. The people at church have been telling me, oh, you look so great. You look so great. And I'm like, I don't know if they're just pulling my leg or whatever, but I also noticed because when I first started taking telemetry, I took pictures of my hands because you were talking about mm -hmm. the age spots and mm -hmm. stuff. Used to be when I washed my hands and dried my hands, the skin would break. I would get like cracks or sores on my, on my hands. And <clears throat> after he mentioned that, I was looking and said, well, the spots are still there. I don't see like a big difference, but my skin is not as thin. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get old, old skin gets thin, and when you rub it, then it very easily will break or crack or something. But my skin looks a lot better now. It's not, you know, really young, but it's it, it, it did change. So it's good. Anyway, other than that, I'm hoping that uh, I'll stop for, I won't forget stuff so much. Uh, but I'm not as grumpy. Uh, maybe, maybe, you have to ask her. <laughs> have more energy and things like that but the main thing is really really good sleep okay. but uh as far as the medical tests i'm keeping my eye yeah, yeah thanks thank you oh what a great story so um let's let's talk a little bit about this the whole process that curtis went through you know um even though uh a person doesn't drink, they can get, uh, they make alcohol in their system. We, uh, if we have excess carbohydrates, especially, um, you know, sugars and, and grains, they ferment in the, in the digestive tract. We have weak digestion and then they just, it sits there and it ferments and we make our own alcohol in our system and our liver has to process that. So we can see the ways we, we burden the system and so if you look at the, uh, st the stress cycle here, look at the phases that the liver goes through. The excretion phase 
is the way the liver kind of uh, gets rid of all its toxins. It's, it's a filtering organ. It does many, many things. It has over 500 functions that we know of. And uh, one of its main functions is to um, filter and cleanse uh, the, the blood. And, and the, uh, the way it does it is through producing bile. And then it excretes the bile into the gallbladder. And then the gallbladder will concentrate it and then it'll eliminate it into the intestines. So this becomes uh, excessive and gets overwhelmed when there's so much toxicity in our system or it starts to back up and the liver can't handle it. And when it backs up, it creates uh, irritation because this is very, these are toxins that are building up in the system. So this is the beginning stages of, of the fatty liver, this irritation stage where the excretion isn't sufficient enough to uh, eliminate all the uh, toxins that are, that are being filtered out and coming into the, to the liver itself. And then if the irritation isn't resolved uh, in a short time and it continues on, it becomes more chronic, then you get into uh, the chronic stages of fatty liver. So instead of having maybe five to 10% fat in the liver, which is typically uh, found in, in healthy people, it builds up into you know, 15, 20, 30% of the liver and it enlarges. And this is, this is what expands and, and puts pressure on the whole system. It, it'll impact uh, you know, your blood pressure and all the things we'll, we'll continue to talk about here. But it builds up and eventually, if this uh, inflammatory state isn't resolved and reversed, and again, it can be easily done because the liver is very regenerative. It does so much that nature has made it a very regenerative organ. We can cut away a piece of the liver and it'll grow back. That's how regenerative it is. So uh, when we start introducing, you know, the, the benefits of telehealth, we see these things can reverse. But if, if we don't do something about it, that fatty tissue eventually just overwhelms the system and circulation starts and you get scarring. And this is cirrhosis, a hardening. So uh, cirrhosis is a term for hardening of the liver. And it happens through scarring. It happens through a tissue uh, breakdown that uh, uh, it doesn't regenerate itself. And ultimately, the system just doesn't work anymore. You, um, you lose the function of the liver. And this is where you start talking to doctors about liver transplants and, and um, the issues that come up with uh, malfunctioning of the liver. Dr. Tina, anything you'd like to share on, the, on these phases? Yeah, definitely. So we, you mentioned that the liver is the most regenerative of all the organs. And it's so true. And, you know, it, you can actually fix a fatty liver. So just to give you an example, because of this constant state of regeneration, the moment that a person, if they have cirrhosis and they stop drinking alcohol, it will instantly start the process of healing itself. It's, it's so quick. And um, this process could take as, a few, as few, like just a few weeks, or it could take you know, a year, it just really depends on the lifestyle as well. Like you were talking about, you know, when we're introducing foods into our body, we have to be very conscious of what we're putting into our body because if we're eating too many of those sugars or carbs, it's going to create that excess alcohol. But there are a couple of things that I'd like to mention for people that they can do to help reverse you know, the atrophy or the sclerotic stage and move back into, you know, these, the reversal of, of where, how it got to cirrhosis. And there are so many easy things that you can do to just integrate into your daily life. And that's apple cider vinegar. Uh, lemons and limes are amazing to support the function of the liver. Celery, cucumbers, parsley, uh, cilantro, radishes, and milk thistle. And you can even get some of those things to help support your liver um, and eat those foods in addition to your tello youth. You know, we just can't stress enough how important the liver is to just uh, everything because it's tied to all the other systems. 
Uh, it's not just this uh, big filtering system. It plays a key role in our immune system. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, it has these cells that, act, that are the scavengers and, and filters. They're called cuffer cells. And yeah, they relate to our immune system because in our bloodstream, we have these large white blood cells called macrophage. That means big eaters. And they go in and scavenge. And um, your liver is full of these uh, big uh, immune cells called cuffer cells that are these big eaters. And they're, they're concentrated in the liver specifically to protect us. So it's a place, the liver plays a huge part of in our, in our immune system. And it's considered a gland. So it's part of our endocrine system. It's the largest gland in the body. So uh, it's, it's glandular because it produces all the functional components for the rest of the glands to make the hormones that they make. So you see the connection with your uh, system that you know, helps you feel and um, work with the cycles of the day and, and um, just make energy and do all the things that we do is so critical to the endocrine system. And then you have digestion and elimination. Well, the digestive part, the key role is the bile. The bile that the, the liver produces to, is to break down fats that we eat. And uh, we, it's a term called, we saponify the fats or we make them water soluble and uh, usable in, in the body. So the bile is made in the liver and then it's concentrated in the gallbladder and then it's released into the system. And uh, when you see that, uh, you know, uh, yellow tint in the hands and the sclera that uh, Dr. Tina was mentioning, as far as when you have signs of liver disease, you have this pigmentation that goes, well, that's the bile that's excess and, and going into the system. So it reflects uh, through different parts. Uh, you know, a doctor will see it in your, in your eyes and then on your skin. That's that yellow tint that happens from that. Uh, bile backup that's going on in your system. So that shows you the cardiovascular system is again clogged up. And um, the liver is key to cleansing the blood. And as the blood gets clean, then it goes to the lungs to get uh, so that it can take in more oxygen. So you see the interconnection here that the liver has with all the organs and systems in the body. And, and the lymphatic system, of course, because the, the, the venous drainage, the um, you know, toxins that come back from the, the circulation of the blood that dump into the veins, they, they go right into the liver. And this is where they get filtered. And, and then uh, once it's filtered, like I said in the beginning, it goes into the bile and the bile puts it into the GI tract to eliminate. So very, very, unique coordination and, and, and uh, synergy that goes on with the liver and, and all the other systems in the body and why it's so important to take care of your liver because it takes care of you through, through all the other systems as well. Dr. Tina, anything you'd like to add? Love your liver. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love your liver. <laughs> and, it'll, and it'll take care of you. Right? Exactly. Well, Let's talk a little bit about uh, how we design telehealth, and and uh, you know we we speak so much about how it helps us to regenerate and rejuvenate and recharge. Well, because it plays such a key role in in supporting the liver and its functions, and so our aloe it. Uh, plays a key role in activating the immune system. Well, that activates those white blood cells and specifically those cuffer cells that we talked about that are concentrated in the liver. So you have a major support to helping the liver filter so much better and, and, and be much more efficient. The chaga mushroom, um, uh, the beta glucans that are in the, the, in the mushrooms uh, and the melanin are so important to help with the um, immunity with what the liver does and supports that. The um, egg extract, the FTE, the fertilized tissue extract has very unique proteins. You know, these pre-embryonic proteins that we refer to as the signal molecules. Well, these signal molecules are what the 
liver will use to make the components to construct all the little building blocks that it sends to the endocrine system to make hormones to the you know uh, rest of the body to make tissue the collagen that uh, holds our cells together the um, all the different organs and systems that repair themselves depend on these construction components that come from the liver and the fertilized tissue extract gives the liver all the building blocks that it's looking for. So you have the things that was there at the beginning with the creation of life, the pre-embryonic uh, building blocks that um, the liver is looking for in order to regenerate and repair throughout the body. The rhodiola rosea, another component to helping reduce the stress in the body, help the nervous system uh, be more in a a communication phase instead of a stress phase, very important. And, and the liver responds in a way of repair and rebuilding because of the rhodiola. And of course, the marine collagen and the, and the L-arginine are very, very important uh, protein components along with the FTE that give the liver all the building blocks. Because remember, the liver is the, not, it's the chemistry set of the body and it provides all the fundamental uh, you know, pre-components or pre uh, cofactors that the body uses everywhere else to uh, build and, and repair and make all the signal proteins that uh, uh, communication that goes on. So our information highway and the signaling and communication that we talk about all the time is so dependent upon the liver being healthy and strong in order to do that. Dr. Tina. Yes, and we don't mention this very often, but the other thing with uh, our formula is the complete set of amino acids. You talk about the building materials, and I just want to mention amino acids in general are there as well, which is really critical for bit rebuilding and regenerating the system. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Curtis also talked about sleep. And you know, we, when we're going through the regeneration phase, we need to have that deep sleep, but we can't get to that deep sleep, you know, um, if we're in a real uh, stress mode. So part of what worked so well for him was the program that he incorporated. He first started with the wellness program. So we'll talk about this one first. And this is where if you look at the effects on the left, this is where uh, you're, you're looking for deep sleep, energy, glowing skin, some pain relief, and, and longevity. You take Tello Youth for up to three months or more, and your daily intake is going to depend on that last column on the right. If you're over 40 and you're unhealthy, um, you want to go to the rejuvenation program. But if we look at the ages, let's just take, for instance, the age of... 10 to 39 unhealthy. If you go into that third column, the daily intake is four in the morning and four before dinner or bedtime. And that's two bottles a month. So you can see uh, if you're working with, with someone and they're, they're in these different age groups, it gives you a guideline to be able to help. And this is where Curtis started out taking about eight capsules a day. Now, um, we did collect some statistics of over 3,000 Tello Youth clients. And when we look at this, um, let's go down on the effects on the left-hand side and the second one down, more energy. Within the first month, 50% of those 3,000 people experienced more energy. By the third month, 80% taking Tello Youth experienced more energy and the remaining 20 percent after that third month they moved into the rejuvenation program and you can see all of these other effects on the left the period and statistics of how long it took a group of them a percentage of them to have that experience if they did not have it within that three months that's when they moved to the rejuvenation program well, guess what Curtis did? <laughs> Bernard told him. Well, Dr. Yeah. Tina, be, before you leave that slide, I was going to say, if you look at uh, the left-hand side there, there's 
Curtis's story, the deeper sleep, more energy, healthier skin tone, memory and focus, all the things that he talked about and just uh, dramatically uh, shifted yes. over to that rejuvenation program. So, exactly. Yeah. So he was feeling, thank you for that. You can see he was, he was experiencing some of these effects, but then wanted to get, get even younger. So he moved into the rejuvenation program. And the rejuvenation program is true age reversing. This is not a matter if you're, uh, you know, does tele youth work? It's a matter of how much are you going to take? What are you going to commit to? And then you'll experience the effects on the left hand side, the rejuvenation or functional and structural rebalancing of chronic issues. So within six months, uh, if you're over the age of 55 and you take eight in the morning and eight before dinner or bed, it's four bottles a month. And you do this for six months, you're going to see some pretty amazing results. We ask you, please take your before picture before you even get started taking Tello Youth. Take a picture because you are not going to believe what you're going to be looking like, how your skin is going to change, how your collagen is going to change, how your energy is going to change. People see and sense all of your energy when you show up into a room. They can feel that. And you can capture this in a before photo because you're going to want to, you're going to, want to take a photo about every month throughout the process and just see the results, the dramatic changes that are happening. So um, this, is, this is true rejuvenation and uh, you have the ability to go ahead and experience this for yourself and your loved ones. Dr. Chris, did well, you have anything to add before, before moving? Well, just, just to say that we so appreciate everyone just coming on these calls because they're for educational purposes, but uh, we hope to share with you a better understanding of how your body works and how you can support it to not only just stay young, but to actually get younger. And um, we don't, we're not here to substitute uh, the good professional advice that we all need. If we have any health issues, make sure you stay in touch with your healthcare provider. And we're, we're not here to treat or diagnose or uh, deal with any health issues. We're here to educate and help you understand that there are options. There's ways that, you know, here's how your body works and here's the things it's looking for. And uh, we like to think that Teleyouth provides much of the magic that helps you just get younger again. Thanks for joining us.